My name is Katie Silva. And uh, why are you part of the uh, ecotourism pathway? Well, I did it last year because my dad wanted me to intern. It seemed like the only thing that would be outdoors. Uh, uh, do you have any prior experience with uh, this type of stuff? Last year. Okay. <laughs> like before that, like outside of this? No, my, last year was my first time kayaking. My name is Gabriel Davis. And uh, why did you choose to become part of the Redwood Rides pathway? Well, I like to be outdoors and I like to see other people smile when they get to um, go out and enjoy our natural land and our ge geographic uh, area. Okay. Uh, do you have any prior experience in uh, like rafting or biking? Yeah, I've biked a lot before. I've rafted quite a bit, so I'm kind of used to it. Is there anything cool that you've been able to do in this pathway that you haven't been able to do before? Uh, yes, I haven't really been able to uh, guide any tours in this pathway I've been able to, which is really fun. <laughs> you get to see people smile. Okay. So, um, we had some boats that had some of their fabric of the uh, material exposed, so they're more vulnerable to punctures. So we're getting this uh, uh, patch material on the sides. So we explain to the kids the different kinds of material that these boats are made of. They're either a hypalon kind of rubber thing or a PVC, same thing that like PVC pipes are made out of, but just much thinner. Um, this one's a hypalon, and uh, so we uh, cut out a patch, and then we use sandpaper to rough up the both the boat and the backside of the patch uh, for where it's going to go. And um, now we're just getting the glue on and you know, put this guy on here so this boat's going to be in a lot better shape. Hi, my name is Hilary Lowenberg. I am the instructor for the ecotourism pathway for YTA this summer. I've been partnering with Adam Spencer with uh, Redwood Rides to give the students the skills and knowledge about the natural world. Um, to enable them to be interpretive guides through the redwoods, teaching them about their place, where they live, this beautiful area, um, talking to them about geology, botany, uh, the climate, um, and what makes the Smith River so special. And I'm hoping to enable them to be confident in leading and guiding a river trip on the Smith River. Um, and they also are getting skills and knowledge through Redwood Rides about gear, meeting clients, working with customers, and guiding in a safe, respectful, responsible way on the river, which would hopefully enable them to um, get a job in the in the field of ecotourism in the future and a lot of our students have actually gone on to work with Redwood Rides as paid guides and instructors the following year. So it's been a really wonderful experience for Adam and I to partner together and work together and provide this opportunity. My name is Josh Goodman. Uh, my role is uh, I'm the bike guy. I uh, Help all, I do all the bike maintenance right now and I'm trying to teach others so that I don't be, have to be the only person doing the bike maintenance from now on. That hasn't happened yet. <laughs> Today it's happening a little bit. So uh, what is your goal for this, uh, pa this group at the Pathway and this week? Uh, right, I mean today we're doing bike, we're doing bike maintenance and uh, everyone's going through uh, showing what it's like to take down a flat tube, you know, and bring it back up. and changing tires and uh, adjusting brakes, just pretty simple bike things is what we're going through. We're also uh, patching boats and seeing what that's about uh, to, to find where, uh, you know, where the weak points in boats are and how to reinforce them and keep them in the fleet. Okay. So. And what, if, uh, what is your kind of long-term goal for this pathway? You know, I think just uh, the place we live in, uh, it's good to be educated on all the natural things we have. That, that we could be doing that not everyone gets to enjoy on a daily basis. It's, it's kind of out of their reach. So I think to make all of these things within our reach and within our grasp is uh, what we want to continue for the future is getting people out on the river, getting people on bikes, getting people to 
be knowledgeable about the area and uh, how to safely navigate whether you're on a bike or on a boat.